Good morning, I'm Kristen Sellens in from Marley Hall. Get ready for the heat and humidity to make a comeback. We're looking at definite, definite hot one out there today. We have 71 out there in Mount Holly, 68 on Doylestown, but you can see 73 already out there in Wildwood, and it is going to cool down as we make our way through the day because storms will be passing through. We'll be dealing with isolated thunderstorms, high gusty winds throughout the day. You can see in our future cast as of 8 a.m., uh, still looking nice and clear, but then as we make our way into the afternoon, those storms do pass through, and you can see last they'll end up in New Jersey. Also, for the Phillies game tonight, if you're heading out there, you want to dress accordingly Hopefully it doesn't get rained out. Uh, we do have Holiday on the mound playing the Milwaukee Brewers, 84 at first pitch. Some rain out there and then also more rain continuing into the seventh inning. As for your seven-day forecast, well, the rain is out there today. It'll cool off and not until, actually it won't cool off really until Wednesday, but you will be dealing with rain today and tomorrow. Also on Saturday, we have a 40% chance of precipitation. So hopefully we'll see uh, good conditions for the Phillies game as you make your way out and about to the Phillies playing the Milwaukee uh, brewers today. Also, July is National Ice Cream Month. What a better way to celebrate than with a little treat from Little Baby's Ice Cream. Philadelphia is rich in uh, ice cream lore. Little Baby's Ice Cream is a handmade, super premium ice cream company. Wow, that looks delicious. They are a mobile ice cream vendor founded in January of 2011 that takes to the streets of Philadelphia in a customized tricycle. But the tricycle isn't the only thing that makes them unique. They specialize in surprising flavors that you can't find at your local creamery. A burst beer vanilla bean, a balsamic banana. We make a banana chip. There's something familiar and then something unfamiliar with it. They also provide a treat for vegans. So we do make uh, many ice creams with either a coconut or an almond base, uh, and they're completely dairy-free, animal-free ice cream. Even though some fruits, like bananas, don't grow around here, whenever possible, they use local and organic ingredients. The fruit portions of the flavoring uh, ingredients are locally grown right in Greensgrove Farm up in uh, East Kensington. This is a perfect refresher to beat the summer heat and support the community. For Eye Opener, Lauren Insendoli, PHL 17. That looks delicious. Make sure you check out their website, littlebabiesicecream.com. Go to their events page to where you will find out where they will be stationed next. I know I'll definitely be doing that. We are always looking for new segment ideas. Here are the ways you can reach us. You can tweet me at Kay Sellins or search us on Facebook. Just look for Eye Opener Philly or you can email us, eyeopenerphilly at phl17.com. That's all for right now. I'm Kristen Sellins. Eye Opener will be right back. Too much to your spend, hey.